It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. When it comes down to horror movies, I really enjoy them. I like stuff like from the 1930s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. A lot of the stuff in black and white when I was like younger as a teenager. And then when I was a teenager, of course, I saw like these other movies that came out in the 1980s. And so, to me, old school horror is like, you know, the best type of horror. Because to me, it didn't really rely so much about blood or, you know, the gore. It focused on the scares and the atmosphere and the psychological elements behind it. And so, I really like some good old fashioned horror movies, especially in the past. Nowadays it seems though that horror movies just depend largely on the gore. It's just like, you know, you can watch something like Saw, you don't really get scared by it, you just get disgusted by it. You see stuff like, you know, Halloween, and to me of course it was not that scary. And so, when it comes down to the slasher genre of horror movies, I'm not necessarily a humongous fan. Now granted, I do in fact like movies like Psycho by Alfred Hitchcock that came out back in the 1960s. That's a really good movie. I like the first, like, you know, the first and the third movie for The Nightmare on Elm Street. Those are really great movies too. But I don't know, even the original Halloween movie that came out back in the 1970s, I grant it, like, it has a really great soundtrack and everything. But the whole entire Michael Myers premise to me is not that scary. I'm sorry, but if you kill like a guy so many times and he gets up and up and up all the time, I'm sorry, that to me is not scary. That being said though, it seems as though there's like a new controversy about this Halloween movie that came out. And so without further hesitation, let's read the article out loud. Michael Myers said to be homophobic and Halloween kills. Oh my god, just from the title. I'm just getting so much flashback. Like, when It Part 2 came out, there was like this sort of controversy where some people said that Pennywise the Clown was some sort of gay ally, but during the beginning of the movie, he killed some sort of gay couple, and then everybody was like, you know, freaking out over that whole entire death scene. When I read a headline like this, it reminds me about that whole entire premise again. I've not seen Halloween Kills myself because I'm not interested in the Halloween movies, but um, let's just read the article and just see what it says. Halloween Kills released over the weekend, and judging by the film's box office number, a lot of people went and saw it. It's also worth pointing out that's not even the factory and all the people that stream it on Peacock. So with all the intention of the movie, there was bound to be some controversy. While the reviews have been mixed and negative so far, the film is actually receiving some criticism in an area you might not expect. Some are saying that Michael Myers is homophobic in the movie. The scene in question is when Michael Myers breaks into his childhood home where a gay couple currently lives. Michael Myers murders them, and one of the least surprising moments in the movie, he'll kill anyone regardless of sexual orientation, especially someone living in his home. Now, first of all, I first want to state that obviously I'm against any sort of homophobic attacks in real life. And so if somebody were to hurt somebody just because they're gay or whatever, I'm obviously against this whole entire idea of attacking people based entirely off of their sexual orientation. At the same time, though, we're talking about a movie. We're talking about Michael Myers. Now, granted, I have not seen this new movie at all. I saw the original Halloween, I saw the second one, and I saw the remake that came out back in 2018, right? And so, my general impression of Michael Myers is that he kills anybody in sight, regardless of sexual orientation. It does not matter what kind of person that comes in this way, he would just kill anybody regardless of what they are from or what kind of dick they like or whatever. So, this sort of, he's like an equal opportunity killer in a sense. So, it doesn't make any sort of sense 
to say that he's homophobic when in reality he's like he hates any sort of person in his way. That's why he's a serial killer. Saw that new Halloween movie. Didn't expect Michael Myers to be so homophobic. All I got from the new Halloween movie is that Michael Myers is homophobic. Michael Myers is homophobic. Can't believe Michael Myers is not only a murderer, but also homophobic. Can't believe Michael Myers is homophobic, hashtag canceled. Just finished watching the new Halloween. It's official. Michael Myers is homophobic. Guys, do not switch to the Halloween universe. Michael Myers is extremely homophobic. Michael Myers is a racist, homophobic murderer. No respect for him now. Chucky being an ally and Michael Myers being homophobic is so funny to me. Michael Myers being homophobic and Chucky being uncannily anti-homophobic is something I didn't expect this year. Besides my earlier point that I made that Michael Myers just kills anybody regardless of their homosexuality or sexuality, I just find it so bizarre. Like a lot of these people, they want diversity rights. They want to have inclusion of all these sort of different movies that feature, you know, different orientations and so on, right? No matter their race and gender. So, and the whole entire universe of horror movies, the premise is to have victims, regardless of their race, regardless of their sexuality and so on. And actually, of course, the attention is to scare people out their pants. So no matter if they're black, no matter if they're gay, no matter if they're, you know, whatever sexual orientation or whatnot, there's always going to have some sort of equal opportunity chance for people in a horror movie to become victims. And so this idea that somehow we need to treat like one set of people differently than the other people just because they don't like it, well, sorry, dude. But that's the whole entire point of horror movies is to scare you, to make you feel like you're actually there. And so horror movies treat people equally as victims no matter their status and no matter their background. But anyway, this whole entire thing is just so stupid because, again, Michael Myers kills anybody regardless of their orientation and that horror movies kill people regardless of their orientation and so this whole entire idea that somehow this character is homophobic is just really weird to me. But anyway, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I would trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.